Uh, so without that Alzheimer's support, I'd be I'd go mad. I have to say, although I seem to cope quite well, I have my screaming, shouting and crying days because there's, there's no doubt that this is a very painful and cruel illness, not only for the person who's got it, but possibly even more so for the person who's the carer. It's a very supportive and caring um, environment for, for a loved one to be in. So obviously we're, we're fully trained to do the job that we do. We, it's not just a job. It's, you're not going to make big bucks doing this job. You do it because you, you care about people. My role is to provide um, support to people who would like to go out and about. It's a sitting service but it's also actually taking people out. It's very independent and it's very tailored to the individual's needs. So I'll go out and I'll do an introduction visit, I'll go out and spend some time with them, get to know them, talk to their carers, talk to their family if they're there. And I've got a, I've got a support team of 10, so obviously I've got a little bit of option of people I can choose. So what I'll do is I'll look at someone's personality, I'll look at sort of how, what sort of things they want to do if I've got somebody with the same interests as them. And then really it's a case of meeting them up together and seeing how they get on. Well, he was Royal Navy, I was Merchant Navy. He was in a, in, on the Ark Royal, I was on an old banana boat, so I think he outranks me. Is that what I've learned from you? Well, yeah, I do, actually, yes. Yeah, you you outrank me a bit. I think so. We try on hats and scarves and makeup and we just have a girly time. I always say to someone, after the support worker's left, you know, you can chat to me and tell me how you got on, how you think it's going to work. And to be fair, so far I've done all right. Everybody seems to be quite happy. But things change, so it's a case of reviewing, making sure they're still happy with the person they've got going to them. The first stage was <coughs> the morning visit started off coming in for two hours on, a, on the Thursday. That gave me the opportunity maybe just to do a bit of housework on my own, but go to the gym, do a few things I was missing out on. It's so important, the break you can give somebody. I've got so many people that are desperate just to get out, just for those couple of hours, and they go out, they go shopping, they meet up and have coffee, and it's knowing that they've got somebody at home they trust to look after their loved one. With Alice looking after Beverly, I just sat there and watched the world go by and read a book for a bit, um, and it was very pleasant. But without Alzheimer's support, I'm not sure what I'd do, quite honestly, because you just do need to get away from the problem. I was asked to spend Tuesday mornings with Beverly and we have a fantastic time. When I go <laughs> to the house in the morning, she's ready and dressed with her handbag and ready to go out, which is a gift to me because I think she obviously really does look forward to our time together. And we always have a wonderful time. And unfortunately, back in May 19, sorry, 2013, she was diagnosed with vascular dementia and Alzheimer's. We decided we'd have to move from where we lived and go to somewhere where we could use the buses because Beverly wasn't going to be able to drive quite soon after that. She was walking into town, going doing shopping, I was doing my own thing. Didn't really need any additional support. It was just confusing at home, but that was probably all it was. Well, then once or twice when she went into town, she couldn't find a way back and I had to go and rescue her. I think things were getting quite confused at home and the workload was going up on me quite dramatically. Not only with the housework because she couldn't remember where anything was. If I was making a cup of tea, where's the fridge? She wouldn't know where the fridge was. That's the stage we've reached now. The workload on me is, is really the big issue. <coughs> And that's where Alzheimer's support came in. We go wherever we want, don't we, Alan? Right. I go into Alan in the morning and he says, where are we going? And I'll say, up the road. So and back. Road. So we usually go back. Oh. Yeah. Whatever the weather is, it depends on the weather, it depends on the time of year, it depends if Doreen wants a bit of vegetables or something like that. We endeavour to have a bit of fun, don't we, Alan? Well, we do, yes. Well... Uh, Phil is uh, very good and he gets on well with Alan and um, gives him a change. They, you know, they have interesting things to talk about. And, uh, so it's, it's very helpful. And I, have a, I usually have a little rest 
I'll have a friend and in the meantime. Yeah. I think that's a blessing. Mm, definitely. That definitely is. You don't give you any praise, but you expect that. I know, but it's tough sometimes. Yeah, isn't it is. It? You know, you wish yeah. somebody would say. Well, I'm, I'm saying you're doing a really good job. Mm? You're doing a very good yes, job. Yes, other people tell me that. Yeah, you are. You must yes. believe them. Yes, yes. But there is lots of help out there for mm. you. Yes, that's nice to know. No, and I'll, nice I'll, I'll, I'll keep in touch yes. with you. Yes, yes. It's nice to know that somebody's talked to us. Yeah, definitely. Somebody. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you don't, you don't mm. need to struggle. No. Well, I'm sure there are people like me who are not getting the support because they're not aware it's out there. I cannot fault this amount of support I've had. It's been absolutely fantastic.